Many AutoCAD users use blocks in their 2D layouts. The good news for these types of users is that SolidWorks can work with these same sketch blocks. The even better news is that these sketch blocks can be used in SolidWorks to simulate elaborate mechanical systems to simulate actual motion. If you want even better news than that, SolidWorks can also take these 2D sketch blocks and make it very easy to convert them into actual models to be used in a 3D environment. All right, and enough selling SolidWorks. Let's see how this all works. This 2D data can be easily used inside SolidWorks. This lets you preserve the value of your 2D data with the best tools available for converting it to 3D. Design sketches and assembly layouts in many cases represent the first step of a design. If these sketches exist in a 2D format, SolidWorks can use them as the foundation for 3D geometry. Let's take a look at some of the ways SolidWorks can help you use this valuable data that may still be in a 2D representation. Here we have a design of an engine that we've started with sketched entities representing various components, such as the valves and pistons. The entities making up these items can be left as individual entities, or they can be grouped as blocks. I'll select this valve sketch and turn it into a block. Entities can be repositioned and rotated by simply dragging them with the graphics area. Geometric relations can also be added to align whole centers and horizontal or vertical relations between entities. I'll bring the valve into its proper location by giving it a collinear relation between the axis of the valve and the valve opening. Now that I've added this geometric relationship, I'm still free to drag the valve in a linear range of motion, which makes it helpful to visualize different positions in the system. In addition to the components I have here in this assembly, there are also a couple of components that were created in the past and exist in a 2D DWG format. Let's take a look at these using SolidWorks DWG Editor, which is a tool that allows you to work with your 2D data without having to pay to purchase and maintain a separate 2D system. SolidWorks recognizes the value of your 2D data, and because of this, SolidWorks includes three seats of DWG Editor with every seat of SolidWorks on subscription service. Now here on this file, we're interested in reusing this crank design. To use the geometry, I can simply copy it to my clipboard, and then paste it into SOLIDWORKS. Once it's in SOLIDWORKS, I can easily convert this into a sketch block, and I'll align it to our origin using a coincident geometric relation. There's also an existing lifter component that I'd like to use here as well. I'll repeat the same process by opening the DWG file in the SOLIDWORKS DWG editor, and perform the copy and paste to bring it into SOLIDWORKS. And I'll go ahead and convert this to a block as well. I'll again use a geometric relation to align the lifter with the axis of the valve. And then one more concentric relation between them. Next, what I'd like to do is ensure that our lifter is always in contact with the cam profile. Now, to do this, I can edit our cam block and make a continuous path with all of the entries that make it up. When I'm all finished, I can add a tangent geometric relation between the lifter and the cam. When I rotate the cam, you'll see we get the motion we're looking for. Another great tool is the ability to add belts and chains to these sketch blocks. All I have to do is use the belt chain feature and select the circular references that I want to connect. Once the belt is added, we'll be able to see the motion of the overall system. In addition to reusing existing DWG data as we've just done here, SolidWorks allows you to reuse any existing sketch blocks you might have already created and stored in libraries from your 2D system. I can browse to the library right from within SolidWorks to retrieve it, and simply drag it into our design and again use a couple of relations to position it. To complete this 2D engineering concept of our design, I'll go ahead and assemble the piston and then test the motion of our system. Once you're ready to take your concept to the next step, SOLIDWORKS makes it easy to save each of your sketches out as parts that will make up the assembly. These parts can then be opened so that you can create the actual 3D geometry. 
As you can see, SolidWorks allows you to conceptualize your design in 2D and then move that data forward into 3D as the design progresses. 